Hello children. Good morning. We have already started the main course book Flamingo which is detailed textbook. We are now a non-detailed textbook Vistas. It is a supplementary reader in English for class 12th. Now first of all you must understand what is the purpose of supplementary reader. Supplementary reader is aimed at promoting reading habits. It is to introduce you, you to the taste of literary flavor. It is to introduce you to the literature. And supplementary reader, which is meant for extensive reading, provides you a collection of stories of famous writers. It also offers varied and extensive learning experiences of varied cultures, of varied literature. It is basically to promote reading habits among young children. So Vistas is a collection of many interesting stories. In Flamingo, many of the chapters which are there, they are dealing with a number of issues. Of course, they are stories, but at the same time, they are dealing with various issues. Now, this non-detailed text, Vistas, has a different purpose altogether. And I'm quite sure you'll enjoy reading of the stories of Vistas. What does Vistas mean? A vista is a scene, a view or panorama. It's a pleasing view. It's a beautiful landscape. It's what you see when you climb the top of the mountain or you stop on the roadside and see a beautiful scene there. You feel that there's a great scenery there which is a very pleasing for you. So vistas is pleasing view, a beautiful landscape. So beauties of the language that is here in this supplementary reader that is meant for your entertainment, for your enjoyment, to enjoy the taste of literature. The third level is written by Jack Finney. This story deals with the insecurity and fear of the modern world. Here the narrator moves from reality to fantasy and then from fantasy to reality. The writer has a very aptly interwoven fantasy and reality. Jack Finney describes how he found himself on the third level at a Grand Central Station one day. The rail authorities swore that there were only two levels at the Grand Central Railway Station. But the narrator claimed to have been on the third level. He had seen the world charms of 1894. 
His psychiatric friend called it a waking dream wish fulfillment. The third level was a medium of escape for Charlie from the harsh realities of modern life. It provided him a kind of foundation to get rid of the challenges and the harsh realities of this world. And here he has beautifully interwoven fantasy and reality. Jack Finney was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on 2nd October 1911 and he died on 16th November 1995. He was given the name of John Finney. His father died when he was three years old and he was renamed Walter Braden Finney in honor of his father. Ate the nickname Jack remained with him throughout his life. He attended Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois. His best known works are science fiction and thrillers. Two of his novels, The Body Snatchers and Good Neighbor Sam became the basis of popular films. Jack Finney first showed an interest in time travel in the short story collection The Third Level. Finney's greatest success came with his science fiction novel Time and Again. Finney died of pneumonia and emphysema at the age of 84 not long after finishing from time to time the sequel to Time and Again. The theme of this story, the third level. The third level is a story that weaves together a psychological journey of the narrator Charlie into past, present and moves towards future. There is always a natural human tendency to constantly move between the past, the present and the future. Past, present and future are strategically and organically interconnected. Man is mortal and has many good and bad aspects of life like love, profit, loss, good, bad, etc. All these aspects tend to affect the human mind. Then existential worries act like a catalyst for making the human mind constantly move between the past, the present and the future. The third level is a study of human mind caught in this cycle of time. When people in the present time want to escape the problems and stress of life, they feel that life 50 or 60 years ago was relaxed and they wanted to go back to that time for peace and happiness. For at first, let's take a character sketch of Charlie, who is the narrator here in this story. Charlie is the protagonist of the story. Charlie is a true representative of modern man. He is a victim of stress, insecurity and fear and wants to run away from reality. He is an escapist and wants to escape from the world of harsh realities. He is not able to face this harsh reality. He is a fond of stamp collection, a hobby which he takes up to make his leisure hours more productive and fulfilling experience. But his psycholog psychologist friend, a psychiatrist friend, calls it a temporary refuge from reality. As if he is trying to take shelter from reality, he wants to escape 
from reality. He yearns to lead a good simple life of his grandfather's time. What does it mean? It means he has got a great desire to lead a life of simplicity which his grandparents led when things were pretty nice and peaceful. His quest is for the fabulous ordinariness of a bygone age that was free from modern razzle, dazzle, sophistication and material comforts, but exudes peace and tranquility. He wants to go to Galesburg, Illinois, in the year 1894, when the First World War was 20 years off and the Second World War still 40 years ahead. He is an imaginative person. Hence, on the wings of his imagination, he takes a flight to the non-existent world, the third level at Central Station. He feels that he has come across this third level when he has gone to the railway station. But those who are working in this sector, they all know that there are only two levels. But after finding it once, he and his wife fail to find it again. In short, Charlie is the true representative of the modern man who is torn between the pulls and pressures of a hectic modern life and wants to escape since he is not happy. So here it is because of the insecurity, it is because of the feeling of fear, war and worries, it is in order to escape from all this. He imagines about something that did not exist, but some way there was a peaceful and tranquil existence. Louis Song. Now let us take up the character sketch of Louisa. Who is Louisa? Louisa is Charlie's wife. She is loving and caring towards her husband. However, she is a simple lady and it is not difficult to take her in. She refuses to accept the psychiatrist's observation that her husband is unhappy. She takes this comment as a personal attack and feels kind of mad. On being told the modern world is full of insecurity, fear, etc., she feels satisfied with the psychiatrist's explanation. When Charlie talks to her about his predicament, about his dilemma regarding the third level, she gets alarmed and advises him not to look for the third level anymore. Her husband's exchanging the new currency with the old one is a cause of concern for her. And she tells Charlie emphatically to stop looking for it. When Charlie tells her about Sam's disappearance, she joins him in looking for the third level every weekend. Character Sketch of Sam Sam is Charlie's psychiatrist friend and Charlie is a narrator of this story. The twist in the story is because of Sam's disappearance. Sam is also a very important character for us. Remember, the story is revolving around Charlie and Sam. 
Sam is a psychiatrist by profession. He's a typical urban product. When Charlie shares his visiting the third level, he tells him it is a waking dream wish fulfillment. And he convinces even Louisa. He tells him that he is looking for ways to escape since he is not happy. But he immediately revises his statement that Charlie is a victim of insecurities of modern life. He dubs the argument of narrator's hobby of stamp collection as a temporary refuge from reality. So he feels that the narrator has got this hobby as he wants to escape from reality. As is very much unhappy with the present situation that he is in. He does not believe in mixing up his profession with his friendship. He gets fascinated by Charlie's description of Galesburg, Illinois as a wonderful town with big old frame houses huge lawns, tremendous trees lining the streets. He is also affected by the pulls and pressures of modern life that he thinks of escaping to the peaceful world of Gilsburg of 1894. In the end, he discovers the third level of Grand Central and goes there. And that is where the reader somewhere feels that really the third level exists. He writes a letter from there advising Charlie and Louisa to keep finding the third level because it is worth visiting. According to Charlie, Sam must have set up his little hay feed and grain business as he can't go back to his old business as psychiatrists are redundant in Gilsburg of 1894. That was a time when Gilsburg was a peaceful town and where the psychiatrists were not required at all. But due to modern insecurity, the psychiatrists have a very important role to play. The twist in the story is the, is the disappearance of Charlie's friend Sam. Now here, Charlie and his wife have proof that the third level he is existing and that is why both of them they keep on looking for the third level. Nobody knows where but Charlie suspects him to be in Gelsberg. It's only Charlie who feels that he must be in Gelsberg and who must have started the business that can run well there in Gelsberg.